Okay. That was anticlimactic. How to build comic book sound effects in Inkscape. I forgot to do this part of the lettering part of another video. Anyway, there's a couple of techniques you can use if you want to do your own lettering. I would highly recommend going to blambot.com and they have some free fonts that you can check out and then with those fonts you can load them up and uh, you can put them in your comic and then you can tinker around with them in Inkscape. You can change the size a little bit. You can go to uh, object to path, path, object to path. Then you can kind of select each letter and you can change it around a little bit. So you can work with existing text. That's one technique. You can layer them if you want or you, by hitting page up, page down. Or you can go to uh, Union and Union it if that's what you want to look at. Or you can make your own fonts. I like to uh, use reference. Like you can look at Hellboy stuff, you can look at Spawn lettering to be inspired. Like if I wanted to do that, blam, it looks like there's a bunch of italicized objects there. So let's see if I can do this. If I wanted to do that blam, I would uh, looks like the L is like this. Italicized almost. Let's see the A kind of goes through there. See the M goes through here. Italicized down there. The B is kind of italicized as well. And then for the curved part of the B, I was practicing with this one. Uh, you do the first click on the top part of the B, you drag up, and then the second part should be okay for you, and then you click up, backtrack, and do that, and start over here. Don't want to get too crazy with it, because you want it to connect. Drag, and then back up there this is not going to look good this connection I can already tell it's not going to be perfect so it's going to take some tinkering around with so luckily if you can't do that they have these things you can kinda get it a lot more lined up with clicking these things over here See how close that is. Nope. Now let's try it up. I mean, up. No, I guess I got to click it again. Click the point. Nope. Cusp note to cusp note, whatever. All right. Well, it's close enough. All right. Let's. This is doing that. I guess it's grouped. For some odd reason, it groups it sometimes. There we go. Alright. See if that's a better looking bee. You can do the same thing. You uh, union it. 
See, now it doesn't look as good, so you can always play around with it later. Like delete a node. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, just union it. Um, you know, tinker around with it. But one more thing I want to show you guys is uh, these sound effects over here, like like this stuff right here, the excited stuff. You just you have to play around with it. So like, if I wanted to do like a fash like sort of sound effect or something a little more sound effecty where you don't have any. Uh, Here, here's a technique I want to show you. Okay, like you can block out these letters. Like there's a there's a letter right there. Like let's say it's going like or something like that. F S S S S S S. Well, you can use these tools to block it out. Like let's say you wanted the F to be right there. So you. You can uh, press select and select both of those, and then you go to path difference, and it cuts out like you're cutting out your your lettering. Same thing. You select it, uh, hit shift, select the other one, go to path difference, and then slowly you can build your own lettering. So select. Path difference. There's all sorts of neat little uh, things you can do with this program. So let's say it's done. You can do one last uh, node cleanup. And to smooth it out even more, you can go to Path Simplify, which is Control L. You can slowly simplify it so it smooths it out a, bit, a little bit. And so there's there's some ideas for you anyway to play around with it. So. There you go. I hope it helps. Uh, for sure, if you want to make videos, try downloading uh, a tube catcher. And uh, thanks for watching my video. And if you like it, hit like. And uh, if you're not a robot, like it. Thanks. Bye.